Okay, then I I can continue. Um, this is the the application. I am on the development branch. If you go to the main or master branch, you you can't see it the latest version. You know. So um, wait a second. I can just undo. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm I'm not sure if you are already familiar with with libraries or packages on Flutter, but usually they how how it looks it's uh, inside the the main project and inside on the main lib folder you can see all code what you need and then you can have some ID for example here we uh, we have the the ID what is the uh, the trophy core. Then you can use that in different projects. For example, here we have an example project. Inside the example project, we are importing Trophy Core, and Trophy Core is is going up one level. So inside the the, the main file of of this example, we are calling a Trophy App. Okay. So for Trophy App, um, that's basically um, a material app. Okay, so here you can send uh, your parameters, what you want to change, for example, the title and also the, the providers and also the, the routing, what I already talked before. Um, here, uh, uh, each screen has own providers, then you need to send your, your providers and also your screens. So, uh, for now, they are using. Uh, we are using the default value. That that's why I mentioned that inside the Trophy Core is located the whole uh, whole default screen. What we have, um, as as I told you before, they are optionals. If you want, you can send your own root delegate and uh, with your own. Um, root information parser if you want. If you don't like root master, maybe you can use a different root manager or even you can implement yourself. So the important thing here is um, since we are using the, the, the default screens, if we go here inside the, the root delegate, if we go there, the root delegate is basically the, the, the root master delegate and inside there are um, they are whole screens. For example, here we have a home root. Home root is is basically an, a string, and that's home. Okay. So also here you can see the transport list root, and we are using but the the variable because we we will use in different um, places the screen the screen ID or di or direction. So here you can see we are um, using the home page, the transport list, and also we are using the saved places. And also we 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 have the um, Dumi screens. What's not yet implemented, as you can see here, the about not yet implemented is just Dumi words and also the feedback sent with feedback. Mm, but they are they are already here. The structure is already there. So what's missing is just the the body. So they are basically the the default screens what we have. Mm, so if you want uh, different uh, screens or different um, behavior of the of the screens, or even if you don't like this drawer, you can pass your own screens or your own root manager. So as I know right now we are using the root master and that's um, what is inside the, the default um, values here. And, and if we go back here, um, as I told you, uh, we also need the default providers and default providers is also part of each screen. For example, here we have um, uh, providers. The first thing is the transport uh, root transport qubit. That's what we are using for the routing. Then you can have search location. 
this qubit or this block is all is used by two screens, the home screen and also the saved places screen. So uh, if you want to use this um this is this screen, the home screen, and also the the saved places screen, you also need to to send uh, the the search places. Uh, it will, and uh, we will add some documentation about uh, which screen use which um, block pro provider. So as you can see, there are, there are some some pro providers. All providers is is used by all projects, all all screen. Sorry, um, but this this provider is also part of the default values. So um, here is how we are um, instancing the default um, the default values for screen uh, without any major changes as you can see here you can also change your your app name your the app name title and also your app name and the, your cd name and also here on the providers you can see there are an otp endpoint otp graphql endpoint uh, since each um, block use uh, as some um, service, they they need some endpoint for for call to to the OTP. So that's what uh, we are sending here. And also, you can have the map configuration. For example, uh, where should be the started point of your map? And that's what we have here. Okay, so do you have any question until now?